Hi everybody, it's Michael Bennett, and I'm sorry that I can't join you in person for this year's RPE Energy Innovation Summit, but I am incredibly grateful to the Department of Energy for inviting me today to share a few words with you. Since its inception, RPE has allocated $3 billion in funding to support nearly 1,300 projects, high-impact projects, that are at the cutting edge of research to develop new ways to generate, store, and use energy. And I'm proud to say that there are more than 65 Colorado-based RPE projects advancing important work from improvements in wind and solar to capturing carbon to monitoring and limiting powerful methane pollution. And this summit is a true reflection of how leaders like you work together to turn a good idea into new technology and a scaled up solution. And in my view, the work you're doing to innovate and push the boundaries of energy research is central to helping our country and the world reach our climate goals. As you know, nearly half of the global emissions reductions needed to achieve net zero will likely have to come from technologies that are not yet commercially available, but are in development. And that's where you come in, with climate change fueling more severe natural disasters in Colorado and across the West. I've never felt more urgent about this crisis. We just had our shortest season ever recorded without a wildfire. The Colorado River is at a historic low. Our farmers and ranchers face extreme drought. Mudslides from burn scar runoff have closed major highways for weeks, and Colorado, unbelievably, has some of the poorest air quality on planet Earth. If we don't address this crisis, I worry we risk handing our kids and grandkids a Colorado that we don't recognize. And while we're making progress and there are reasons to be hopeful, we still have an enormous amount of work to do to hit the targets that scientists say are necessary to address this challenge. And that's why the work you're doing is so important and why it's critical that the federal government invest in your work today in a sustained, reliable way so we're ready with necessary technology to meet our long-term climate goals. In short, your work will help us do it faster and better. And I'm grateful for what you've done to get us to this point. Now we need your help to get us from where we are to where we need to go. So thank you for everything that you do, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the summit.